CT stands for positron emission tomography and um, it's combined with the CT scan. Now the PET scan gives you functional information about the body, the CT scan gives you structural information about the body and what we do using those two scans is we actually fuse the two together so we can pinpoint exactly where any increases in activity are actually anatomically using the CT scan. Now in terms of a PET scan, um, the first thing that will happen when you come on board the trailer is you'll have an injection of radioactive tracer. The radioactive tracer is a glucose analogue, so it's not going to make you feel any different than you do normally, uh, but what it will do is it will go into your bloodstream, it will circulate around in your body, and over the course of about 50 minutes to an hour or so, it's going to be taken up in your body by the cells that are using energy. Um, now those cells that are using energy, um, all of your cells in your body naturally use energy but what you find is that any abnormal cells or any cells where any healing processes or inflama um, inflammatory processes are going on, it will actually take up more of the injection so it will concentrate in those particular areas. And after the sort of hour or so what we'll do is we'll ask you to go to the toilet just to empty your bladder for us, then we'll get you on the scanner, uh, you'll lie down on the bed on your back, you have your arms up above your head if you can manage that, if not it's not a problem we can still scan you. Um, and all we need you to do for the scan is keep still. Um, there's no breath holding with this scan, there's no instructions to listen out for. Uh, we can always see you through the window as well and we can always hear you so although we're not in the room with you we're always there if you do need us at all. Now the scan itself, um, it takes about 25 minutes to half an hour or so, depending on what procedure you're having. Sometimes we have to do a double scan, so I mean that could take sort of 45 minutes to an hour, but it really does depend on, um, you know, depend on the indication. And also as well, if necessary, you could always have sort of a, a couple of minutes break between those two scans, so you can have a little bit of a wander around, get yourself settled and perhaps go to the toilet if you wanted to. Um, in terms of the scan, um, as I say, there's no breath holding or anything like that. Um, the first few minutes of the scan, the machine actually does a CT scan. So you hear a whirring noise and the scanner will move you in and out a couple of times. Once it's done that, the bed will move you out to the far end. So your head is actually going to be out in the open at the back of the scanner and the machine will start off over your thighs. And every four minutes or so, you'll feel the bed move you back into the, the actual gantry itself. And it's going to work up your body from your, from your thighs up towards your head, taking pictures of whereabouts that injection has gone to. The majority of the time, your head's out in the open. Um, and for those pa patient, patients who are a little bit claustrophobic, um, as I say, you know, you, there's only a couple of minutes where you're actually underneath the gantry and the majority of the time you know we, we can all well we can always see you we can always hear you if you need us you just give us a shout we'll, we'll get you through it if you are struggling at all now, once um, you've actually finished the procedure, the procedure itself takes about an hour and a half in total from resting to scan. Um, you'll be free to go home. You can start eating as normal. Um, in terms of the actual radioactive injection, you are going to be radioactive for eight hours after the injection. So we do ask you to stay away from any pregnant ladies and any children for us. Um, but after the eight hours is gone, there's no precautions and you can just go ahead with your activities as normal. In the radiation point of view as well, um, you will notice that once you've had the injection, the staff will try and minimise contact with you as much, much as possible. Uh, we ask you not to take this personally, it is just because you know we work with the stuff all the time, we've just got to be really careful from our safety point of view. But in terms of the, the actual exposure to the radioactivity and yourself having the injection, the benefit of finding out the information is outweighing the, the relatively small risk that there is from the exposure to the radioactive injection itself. The results will be sent back to your consultant. Um, they could take any, anywhere up to sort of a week or so, but normally you're looking about two to three working days. Uh, and what will happen after that is if the, you haven't got an appointment to go back to see your consultant, they will get in touch with you and, and get you back in to discuss your results. And in terms of the actual sort of management um, as a benefit of the, the, having the PET CT scan, it will allow the consultant to actually tailor your treatment exactly to your situation rather than just sort of of, um, doing the, the, the generic treatment, if you like, for that particular, the particular problem.